Ironies and contradictions plague Balochistan, Pakistan's province that borders Afghanistan and Iran. This resource-rich land is now a dangerous brew of tribal separatism with great power geopolitics. A strong feeling of alienation from the centre has led many Baloch nationalists to take up arms. They want to make themselves heard. The recent gun attack on the army personnel at a checkpoint in Hanai region of province exhibits the radical and aggressive form of demanding the long-awaited justice. A report. <laughs> at least seven Pakistani soldiers were killed in a gun attack in the country's restive Balochistan province. The attackers raided a frontier corps outpost in Hanai region of the province which resulted in intense exchange of fire. The attack was similar to previous assaults by armed ethnic Baloch separatist groups on Pak Army personnel, and it has once again evinced the indignation of repressed people. On many occasions, the Baloch leaders have insisted that the approach of violence came after years of neglect and deprivation. This was the last option for them. The indiscriminate exploitation of Balochistan's natural resources by Pakistan without caring for the welfare of its people has provided the Balochs a very strong ideological foundation to oppose Islamabad's undemocratic practices. And Pakistan Army's excesses against innocent Balochs, especially ill-treatment of women, folk and children, has forced peace-loving Balochs to pick up guns. When you know that you're, you are going to be abducted by Pakistan's brutal military and then you will be tortured and then you will be killed. So this violence is more or less in self-defense because they, they are left with no choice. When a uh, military of Pakistan conducts raid in Baloch houses and then they rape their women, when they uh, arrest their people, they abduct them and then they torture them. What would you do? When a young child watches all this, what will he do? To save him, to save his family, he will take up arms. This is what's happening in Balochistan. The people in Balochistan are demanding sovereignty for a long time. And in response to this legitimate demand, the agencies in Pakistan are eliminating separatists through their kill and dump policy. Enforced disappearances, tortures and killings. That's how Pakistan tries to crush dissent in Balochistan. The state-sponsored campaign of oppression has forced many to leave homeland Balochistan, even as lakhs of Baloch have fled overseas in search of safety. But living in exile doesn't mean a peaceful life for them. The recent mysterious death of Baloch activist Karima Baloch is a fresh example. This extrajudicial killing has added to the distress of this vulnerable community, which still has not forgotten the death of dissent Sajid Hussain in Sweden, whose body was also discovered in the same circumstances. Time and again, Baloch people have urged the international community to protect them from Pakistan Army's death squads, which have turned the land of resources into the land of missing people. This group of Pakistan's high-profile assassins has the blood of thousands of Baloch people in its hand. The world is better without Pakistan army. If you want to stop global terrorism, especially in South Asia, you have to dismember Pakistan army. The army and ISI are the biggest uh, terrorist organizations of the world who have been involved in cross-border terrorism in neighboring countries like Afghanistan, India, and they have been busy in uh, terrorizing Pakistan's own ethnic and uh, religious minorities like Sindhis, Baloch, Pakhtun, Muhajirs are being uh, terrorized by this army and military operations have been conducted in, against all these communities. Media reports about Pakistan government's plan to fence the port town of Gwadar for security reasons have further sparked a new controversy in the land of disappeared. Baloch political parties have termed it a conspiracy and vowed to resist it at all forums. 
This move will certainly intensify the feeling of alienation in Balochistan. The local population in Gwadar, especially fishermen, believe that they are being displaced and dispossessed in their own land. The fencing of Gwadar will validate their worst fears. Pakistan needs to be stopped from tinkering with the culture, identity and way of life of the Baloch people. Once atrocities stopped, then the issue of the rights of the Baloch people can be arbitrated in accordance with the historical realities that govern the region.